Hey everyone and welcome to Amazon Gem, a channel within a channel. It is indeed an honor to have you joining me here today as I continue to be your Amazon customer service representative away from Amazon itself. So I really do hope what is shared here is of use to you and to your friends, loved ones as well. Now, I would have previously shared with you how to add or remove a payment method from your account. Today, what we're going to do is take a look at how to identify charges that might have reflected on your credit card or debit card statement or your checking account. A lot of us always tend to reach out to the bank and dispute the charge because we really don't know what the charge is for. So we think right off the bat, it's a scam. But because Amazon does not charge your credit card, debit card, or your payment method for that sake, we don't, they, they don't charge your payment method until the item has already shipped out. So once the item is shipped, then the authorization, the payment would be confirmed on the account and the funds will be then deducted from your gift card. If it's your Amazon gift card, your checking account, credit card, debit card, you name it. So when we would have placed an order a couple of days ago, a few days later, we, the charge reflects, we're wondering what this is for. Sometimes that is the case. Sometimes we also have friends and family who we would have utilized our payment methods on their account. And things like these are what would have been the reason as well why our cards are charged. So what I would suggest that we do here. So I'm using the shopping app. So the three bars at the bottom here. We're just waiting on it to take its time and pull up. So for the three bars here, we tap on the three bars. Once it pulls up, what you're going to do is tap on account. Basically the same on the website. So you're going to go to where it says login and security or it says hello with your name. You tap there and follow the list. You will see account. You tap on account. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for payments or your payments. All right. So I'm going to go through. And here we go. We're going to tap your payments. Once it pulls up, you're going to tap right here beside wallet. So it says overview wallet transactions and settings. You're going to go ahead and tap on transactions. Now, once you tap on transactions, it's going to show you the last four digits of the credit card that would have been charged. It's also going to show you the order number. And of course, it will show you the marketplace. So if it was used on Amazon, if it was used for any like for me, I have the media groups where I do promotional stuff. Um, if it's Kindle, you'll see Kindle. It will reflect as Prime if it's Prime and so forth. So to the side, you will see where you see the minus, the negative figure, which shows how much you are charged. So let's say, for example, your card was charged $18.18. .18. Right off the top, you see the order number there. You see the last four digits of the card. It also tells you the type of card. All right. So that's basically it um, for you today. Also, this here, I want to show you. This is a plus here where it says that that plus figure, that positive figure will tell what was credited back to you. So if you were charged in arrow, the credit will reflect there. So also, um, you might want to confirm because sometimes on the bank statements, it shows the funds. We'll see a plus sign on the statement as well. We oftentimes mix that up as a charge was made to the account. All right. So pretty much I hope this helped you today. That was how to identify payment methods. Remember, if you still went through all of this, you were not able to identify the charge reflecting on your account. You can always reach out to anyone within the household or anyone who you might have maybe utilized your card on their account to make purchases. You can reach out to them to confirm if the same transpired on their account. You do the same thing, go to transactions and go through to see if your last four digits of the card is reflecting there because of course the entire credit card will not reflect on amazon all right so if it is that you go through and definitely you're not seeing these charges 
your next step would be to contact Amazon and one of the Amazon representatives will definitely assist you in locating the charge because their system might provide a better search platform to locate that charge. You also want to ensure that you have a, tr a transaction ID, which is usually about nine figures to 10 figures long. Uh, typically a mixture of letters and numbers. However, in most cases, you also, some of us do only just get numbers. All right, and this reflects on the Amazon, on the uh, credit card statement. All right, so that was basically it for me today. I hope this was very useful. I hope it helped you and is able to help your friends, your families, or anybody at all for that sake that you know uses Amazon. All right, so that was basically it for me today. I hope what was shared here is very useful to you. It also is able to help your friends, your family, you name it. Guys, please ensure that you hit that subscription button. Make sure you turn the notification bell on. You don't want to miss out on all the stuff that transpire here on Amazon Jam. Remember, if you enjoyed it, you liked it, hit that like. Don't shy away. That like won't bite you. Remember, share. Share with your friends, your family, you name it. This can be useful to even someone you don't know. So remember, go ahead and share and have your friends and families join me here on Amazon Jam. Mm -hmm.